Hi dolls! I finally, finally decorated for the Valentine's Day party. My dolls usually have a holiday themed party for like pretty much any and every holiday. They wanted to have a really fun, friendly celebration of love. They have dressed up. They are enjoying some live music over here and they're exchanging Valentines and eating treats. And this is Luciana's party. So of course the backdrop says to the moon and back because she loves her friends to the moon and back. So I'll just let you know how I did this setup. I'll let you know like where I found things and all that kind of good stuff. So just starting with the setting, this is just my living room table <laughs> and a black sheet that we never use. And I also put, there's like a shelf here that I turned sideways to be one of the corner walls. I can make it taller, but I didn't want it to be that tall because I wanted to see the decorations on the shelf. Also for that piece of cardboard back there, it's just a trifold. So that's the kind of thing you get for when you're doing like a science project or presentation. You can get them at the dollar store also. So for $1, you can get a nice piece of folding up cardboard and they're great because you can keep decorating them differently. You could permanently decorate the background to be what you want. I changed mine quite a bit. I have three and I use them to make little temporary rooms and scenes. I love using this for a rug. It's kind of a cream white color, but it's a very elegant looking thing. And guess what? That is from the dollar store and it's a chamois cloth for only $1. So go to the car section and you will find these chamois cloths for just a dollar. They're incredibly soft, they make great blankets. The to the moon and back sign is actually a pillowcase from a set. The other pillowcase says, I love you. <laughs> so I could have put one or the other. I kind of like it because the black and white is a really fun thing to have for Valentine's Day. Valentine's doesn't have to be all like pink and red. On the edges, I used these mini Valentine's party favor clips that I found at Walmart in a six pack for $1.98. If I had had more time, I was gonna hang them across a string and put pictures of the friends and just kind of put across the top. As far as the backdrops go, this is a piece of decorative tissue paper for wrapping packages that has been die cut. So it has little hugs and kisses and hearts and uh, it comes in a pack with a lot of different colors plus some plain white ones from the dollar store. So I got these all in a big pack. I've given a couple away, but I kept four and they're just awesome little treat containers that you can probably still find if you look for them somewhere. I was thinking these would also be really cute to put a little light inside, like a little mini candle, and then they would show up as a lantern, or you could put flowers in it. I just left them the way they are, and they make great treat baskets for your dolls. This little wooden planter thing is just a mini that someone had painted, and I found it at a thrift store. Then I put what is basically some kind of plant from an aquarium set back there on the wall. Also from the dollar store, I found a pack of really cute 3D stickers that just have like a simple small piece of uh, foam tape on the back. This little picture here, do small things with great love, is actually a cute little magnet from Family Dollar and I believe it's a dollar or a dollar fifty. This little holographic heart box is just a really cute mini box, perfect for dolls to be a little jewelry box or a keepsake. It's velvety lined and I love the hollow glitter. I got it in like a gift shop area of a university and so I know it's something you can like find other places. I'm not, it was $2.59 which was kind of pricey for me but I got it anyways. And I don't see the brand name on it. However, you might see them somewhere where they sell little gifts, little trinkets, has little mirrors on the side. I love it. On the table, we have an assortment of fun things for the dolls. This is a real candy box. You can get at Walmart for like a dollar fifty, I think. Maybe only one dollar. Has like four to six chocolates in it that I ate. 
there's another one of those treat containers. There is the red table runner. Comes with this table set. And this cupcake stand with these cupcakes also come with the table set. I think it's like called the sweet treats table. And I think that cookie comes with it too. I don't have any more than one. <laughs> and also the thing that looks like sprinkles, the little sprinkle jars, and the icing. So this little ceramic plate has actually a really pretty design on it. It's hard to see from here. And um, it's just some kind of little tray that I got at a thrift store. I also got this adorable mouse, the Your Special Ceramic Mouse from a thrift store. So there's one, two, three, four treat bags that I had for sale this year. They're doll-sized treats of all kinds. And they have all kinds of goodies in it for the dolls to take home after the party. The last item is this sign and I get asked a lot of questions about it. It's just a mini marquee. I got this one at the Nordstrom Rack, but I do see them all kinds of places. A good price would be under 10 bucks. Like I think if you can get one for $5.99, that's probably the cheapest. I think mine was $6.99. Oh, by the way, I did get most of those little treat things in the bags from Walmart or the dollar store. For the big pieces, I have the American Girl P Grand Piano set. The bench has a lid that comes off and there's music in it. It actually plays when you put batteries in it. And back there is a baking table. I love that baking table because of the color. It actually matches my kitchen. Everything in my kitchen is like red and aqua. <laughs> Thanks for watching the first part of my Valentine's party video on decor. Please check out the next one that is going to have what the dolls are wearing for the party in my Valentine's lookbook. Bye dolls!